Hello and thanks for tuning in. I recently bought this Explorer and because of its shape, it won't fit into any of the gig bags or cases I have lying around. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a gig bag, but I will eventually need to transport this guitar so a new case or gig bag is in order. Gig bags for Explorer type guitars can be purchased for as little as $30 American, like this World Tour Deluxe gig bag. I had one of these bags before, and they are great for the price, but I wanted something with a little extra protection. That's when I stumbled upon this Epiphone product, the Epilite case with a $90 street price. I have a couple of Epiphone hard cases, and they are very good quality wise. I would expect the Epilite line to be a high quality as well. Anyway, this product falls someplace between a soft, flimsy gig bag and a rigid hard case. All the online reviews were positive, so I decided to order it. The Epilite case looks very similar to this Roadrunner case, which I actually own and use for my Telecaster. It is well made and has served me well for many years. I think these were about $79 American new a few years ago, so $10 cheaper than the Epilite case. I'll compare these later. Note that these Epilite cases do not come with locks. The case arrived today. First impression, it looks nice. It has a black nylon exterior which has a rough texture, similar in feel to most gig bags. It feels pretty durable. The Epiphone logo is emblazoned on the exterior storage compartment with a gray panel background. This gray woven piping is used as trim along the front, back edges, as well as around the storage compartment. Overall, the appearance of this case is very nice. You can see that the case also features backpack straps. They feel very sturdy and are adjustable with these plastic buckles. Backpack straps are a great feature for commuters or people that ride their bikes or motorcycles to rehearsal. They can also be a bit of a nuisance in that the straps could get in the way if you like to store your case lying down like this. The Epilite Explorer case has these sewn handles on the front and back, just like most gig bags. Looking at the other Epilite cases, you can see that they use a single handle, either riveted or bolted to the case. For some reason, they went with these gig bag type handles for the Explorer version. I am not sure why the Explorer version doesn't have these handles. They are much better in my opinion. The interior of the case is very soft and plush. It should offer great protection from scratches. We can also see this Velcro strap on the neck support, which can keep your guitar from bouncing around. There is no interior compartment. This case is well made. The stitching is strong and there are no sloppy glue joints. I figured that this case would be sewn together, but surprisingly the case is held together by a series of zippers. Opening this zipper reveals the cardboard and foam frame that provides the rigidness of this case. One thing to note, this case uses plastic zippers. These can be finicky and break if you are not careful. Don't overstuff the case or force the zipper and you should be okay. Okay, it's time to put the guitar in its case. Wait, did they ship me the wrong case? How is this supposed to fit? Oh, uh, there you go, perfect. It's a very snug fit. I did want to show you how the headstock touches the floor of this case. When your guitar's headstock rests against the interior of the case, it is a little more susceptible to a headstock break, especially if it's a Gibson type of guitar. If a case falls over like this, it could lead to disaster. I mentioned earlier that I own a similar product, this Roadrunner zippered case. Unfortunately, the Roadrunner case appears to be a little nicer. While the stitching and build quality appear to be, be about the same, the Roadrunner version has a lot more rigidity to it and it has these internal compartments. Overall, I think this is a good case, offering a medium level of protection. It's a good value if you are a careful person by nature. If, however, you play gigs and your drunk friends like to help you load up after a gig, you may want to invest in an actual hard case. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.